Jones, Director of STEM Tips here at the University of Florida. I've got another little activity that you can show your kids. This time, since we're getting close to Thanksgiving, I'm calling it the Clucking Cups. So, inside my mystery bag of science, I have a cup. Notice in a string, and tied at the end of the string is a little piece of dried sponge. And at the top of the string is a little paper clip tied there, okay? Just punched a hole through the top of the cup, okay? Now, you're gonna do a little bit of science here. You're gonna predict, you're gonna observe, and then you're gonna try to explain. Called it POE. So, first, predict what you think is gonna happen when I grab the string with the sponge and I pull. Did you hear that? A little bit, okay? Now, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time, I'm gonna get the sponge damp here, get it wet, wring it out, try it again. What difference do you think wetting the sponge is gonna have? Let's listen again. Your prediction? Now observe. Uh, the clucking cup. So why did it make the difference in the sound? And what's going on with the sound? Let's try it again. All right. So if you remember last time, right, we said all sound is caused by vibrations. So it's something about having the sponge wet that allows the string to vibrate just enough to create that sound, okay? It's kind of really the Goldilocks effect. Here's a dry one again. When it's dry, okay, there's too much friction. All right, and the string really doesn't vibrate. If I get it too wet, yeah, hopefully that's enough. If it's too wet, well, that's actually still, if it's too wet, then you have too, too little friction and it doesn't vibrate. But when you get it just right, then the string vibrates and the cup vibrates. Isn't that cool? You can try with different size cups, see if the sound changes. You can also show the whole value of having the cup. Take it out of the link, okay? Just hold the string and do it. All right? It's still clucking, you just can't hear it as much. So think about why is it that the cup actually amplifies the sound, okay? It's kind of the same idea of why guitars and violins have that big wooden box around them, okay? Same thing, it's called a sounding board. So investigate that. All right, so happy Thanksgiving from STEM Tips.